Jeremiah Kioni is currently trending and has pleased Kenyans with his act of walking out of an interview. Now, walking out of an interview is not often praised. However, in this interview, I think it was the best thing to do and many Kenyans agree and even Jeremiah Kioni himself believes that it was the best thing to do. The interview was actually a debate on TV47 and he was to debate with Farah Malim. Farah Malim went viral during the Mandamano period after he said that if he was president he would have killed 5,000 Gen Z. This of course didn't please the Gen Z's or anyone in particular and I just want us to listen to this interview and hear some of the reasons why Jeremiah Keone felt that he couldn't go on with the interview. Go into this a is called, this is called ad hominem. You know, when, when somebody cannot, does not have such... It is in my business to protect you, Honorable Farah Malim. And, and he's scared of that. Did not and it is, it you is did not to worry. It is in my business to ensure that any the debate Kenyans get I am answers. engaging with, I am engaging in a debate with people who have respect for Kenyans. Have you, have you, cannot, have you, have you taken, a legal, you, have you you taken a legal approach to this, Honorable Kiyon? You, you all understand need, I, the rules of the game and what is required of a Kenyan who feels I would fine. want Farah Malim to live with that which he said. It is not uh, okay. me to take him to court. It, he <laughs> said it and he's a mature person. I am taking offense that you are putting me on the same table with a person who wants to point is home, kill, Honorable Farah Malim, to kill 5,000 Gen Z's Moshimiwa, and there is no Moshimiwa way Jeremiah he can Kioni. escape with it. I think Let it me is tell only, you, you're my friend. I am only your friend and I came here because purposes, you invited you. Yes, and I for purposes you clearly of the people of Kenya. Whether, who is this that I'm coming to debate with? If you had told me as Farah, I would have respectively told you, and until I'm able to reconcile myself with his intention of killing 5,000 Gen Z, I am unable to debate with him. He's pronounced himself on that. I and I don't believe. We understand. I do why not don't you believe? Proceedings. Ask him why does he believe? Why don't, I don't. Well, I he don't, says I don't he believe. Believe. And I, I will be asking. I, 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 gentlemen, I'm, gentlemen, I'm using gentlemen, for, for, for purposes. I will be. I will be asking you. You know, he, he prefers those lies because right now, you see, what people when they there's something called ad hominem. He's a lawyer. Right. When you don't have substance on an area that you are going to debate and you're scared of somebody See, who's going to honorable, debate. Honorable, he's honorable, going honorable, back you. I'm going to on the same scared, line. You're scared of, of somebody who's going to debate. You see, you. gentlemen, gentlemen, to, we, he now wants to insult me. I did not say While he cannot be able to say it for me, you can go ahead. Carry on. <laughs> we, well, we'll I as cannot well be able to this. see to the person Jeremiah who can be. Look, It is well, it is well. Look, Honorable Farah Malim, yeah, let's proceed Kioni, with the conversation. Kioni, let me tell you. Let us proceed Kioni with the conversation. Kioni is my old friend. Yes. He understands my, 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 my position. Right. He understands my principles. He understands my history very well. Mm -hmm. And he knows that he cannot debate with me on substantive issues. Let us address the that's agenda because he then we're to here to discuss the country. That's why he has to digress into, into some, some, you know, some, something that was set up. I will disagree to that some because I have hosted you. There's a couple of things we can spot in the interview. One of the things we can see in the interview is that Jeremiah Kioni was not aware that he was coming to debate with Farah Malim. And even in the interview, he lets the interviewer know that if you had told me prior to this that I was coming to debate with Farah Malim, then I would have told you respectfully that no, I wouldn't be able to show up. However, he wasn't aware. And he even goes ahead to say that he took offense when he found out that he was put in a table with Farah Malim, a man who had said that if he was the president, he would have murdered 5,000 Gen Zs who were simply fighting for their rights. So he felt that he cannot argue, or rather he cannot debate with a person who does not have respect for Kenyans. Really, of Kenya. whether, who is this that I'm coming to debate with? If you had told me as Farah, I would have respectively told you, and until I'm able to reconcile myself with his intention of killing 5,000 Gen Z, I am unable to debate with him. He's pronounced himself on that. I, and I don't believe We him. understand. I do Why not don't you believe us? The other thing we can note in this interview is that the interviewer seems to be leaning on Farah Malim's side. There's even a point where she says, my business is to protect you, Farah Malim. Not, does not have such it is in my business to protect you, Honorable I, Farah Malim. And, and he's scared of that. You need not to worry. It is, it you is, need not to and on top of that, we can see her, you know, posing to listen to Farah Malim. But while um, when Jeremiah Kioni is speaking, they don't really give him a chance to express himself. We can see them trying to speak and sort of like trying to shush him or trying to not give him a chance to speak. To live with that 
which he said. It is not uh, okay. me to take him to court. It, he <laughs> said it and he's a mature person. I am taking offense that you are putting me on the same table with a person who the point is kill home. to Father Mali. kill 5,000 Jensees and there is no way we can escape Kioni. with it. I think Let me tell you, you're my friend. I am your friend and I came here because... Later on, as Jeremiah Keone was leaving the premises in his car, before he left, he had a brief interview. And in that interview, he voiced his opinion on how Farah Malim should not even be a member of parliament as per now, and that he should be hosted. Uh, there you go, sir. I cannot sit to discuss with Farah Malim when he took a position of killing 5,000 Indians in this country. That is why we are losing the country, because of individuals who have no character, and we are calling them leaders, national leaders. I cannot demean myself to the level of discussing with you. The killing of Gen Z hurts me up to today. Why did we have to kill young people in this country? For saying they want school fees, they want food, for saying they want health, and then you bring a person of that character to debate with me, I start for better things. Do you I think cannot. the NCIC has failed in NCIC addressing... NCIC is a dead dodo, just like parliament. Those are the institutions that have let us down. Now we look at where we are in a crisis, and we are being driven the same route on a daily basis by William Ruto because he has dead heads. Like really, like One father, last question, uh, Muheshimiwa. Do you think that uh, what uh, Honorable Father Martin said do you think he should be he should he should he should stand trial in court? He actually should be in, removed from parliament. He should have been recalled from parliament. But with William Ruto, we will have all these kind of people until the day comes when we remove them, all of them. Kuva Derva, Kuva Makaga, Nabriya Miawa. Oh, last one, sir. Do you think uh, the Wiper Party will have a substantive position in him retaining his seat in parliament? The Wiper Party removed. Wiper Party needs to do more and remove him from Parliament. But you also know to remove these members of Parliament with the system protecting them is very difficult for political parties. We have similar guys in Jubilee who were not able to remove them because of William Ruto. So the interviewer has also been found wrong by the court of Kenyans who feel like she was siding with a man who had proposed to murder Gen Z's and that shows that she too does not have respect for Kenyans. People have faulted her and have also faulted TV47 for bringing Farah Malim on the screens to have a debate. People have said that Farah Malim shouldn't even be given a chance to have these interviews or show up in the media because of what he said. Let me know what you think about how this interview went on and Jeremiah Keone leaving the interview. This is what netizens had to say. Humanity left some people long ago. Ndiyo mana huwasi watch news. Cheki sasa ungamwe iko hapa jo. That journalist needs to be called out for that stunt she pulled. Keone walked out respectfully. I like his approach of things. This person should be in Shimo Latewa chatting with his fellow criminals. After Kioni's withdrawal, the lady then allows Farah to talk about Kioni. She ought to dismiss and engage on the topic of the day, disgrace. And the journalist, by the way, goes by the name Linda Alela. And we can see many people calling her out. Linda Alela, you should be ashamed of yourself and your lineage for such utterances. Enablers of the oppressors, murderers. Lamba pole pole, madam. So, yeah, those were the reactions of netizens. Go ahead and drop your comments in the comment section and always keep it here on BNN for more updates.